Morning. It's always a bit difficult going back to watercolour after doing a week of, uh, mostly a week of acrylics. I do like acrylic painting. I, it suits my temperament. Well, as does watercolour. It's, just, it's quick, or relatively quick. Watercolour as well. You can make them quick or slow, but with wet in wet, you're really governed by the speed of the drying paper. It's quite critical. Now I'm just going to make up a sort of a Lakeland scene again. Could be Mitchum Common, it could be anywhere. But that's just a little bit wet. I'll just take some of it off. This Fabriano 130 pound, 15 inches by 11 from Grantham's. I don't buy anything from Grantham's or by whoever's the cheapest, but but they do this this paper in blocks of a hundred, which is oops, which is very 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 good. I just want to reduce that. Let's go right there. Okay, just give a little bit of a stretch. You don't need to stretch your paper. Got my tea. So I'll put in a sky. So I'll come over with the, the raw sienna as the usual. This gives a warmth to the whole picture. A bit of a unity. You don't have to be too strong with it. But you want it to show. Okay, so we'll uh, keep a central area of light. So then I'm, I'm going to use ultramarine and light red. That's why I put them handily together. So we can see, so let that dry a little bit. Right, I'll put in some uh, same colours. Where should we put the horizon? Fairly, fairly low. Now, I don't really want reflections on here, but it looks like they're going to happen because of uh, Because of the wetness, let's, uh, let's come up a bit here. Right, let's uh, put in some hard edge.
Right, let's put in a uh, well, we'll keep that going over there. Right, okay, so that'll stretch that. Let's just put a few. Right, we'll put in some harder edge, greeny colours on the left hand side. So I'll mix a bit of burnt umber, a little yellow, a bit of, a bit of blue. Okay, get nice and dark on, on the top there, here, to separate it from the, the dark a bit behind. Right, let's put a few little rocks in there just to just as the shore comes. some rocks along here to the rocky shore. Okay, now we've we'll put in a bit of a beach across here. Got some red in there. Some amber. Dark. Right, now we can put in some more rocks in here.
do what I tell you not to do, and let's overdo it. But rocks on the shore, beaches, and we can put in a bit of a Right, okay, we can put a little bit of reflections in for this. Okay, clean my hake and then we'll go in with the oh, sweet tea. Now we'll do the small rigger. It's just a way of making that water even wetter. But just showing some of the, some grasses sticking through and, and some reflections. Right, let's put a few. bits of twiggy stuff put a bit of a block on that side here right okay Right, okay, so we need just a little bit more, we need a sort of a focal point really. So let's uh, put a sort of a, let's just dry that, take your headphones off. Maybe just a, a boat sticking.
Okay, let's uh, A little man there, but I don't really see that that would add anything. But I could put in a bit of a, a bit of a yacht. Show that, is it? Right, it's okay. I don't think I could improve that really. It's just a, a simple beach scene across a lake or coast. Let's sign it and pick up a pointing. I quite like this. Right, let me see if I can put a bird or two in. Let's put that in a mount and see what we have done. Now, I wouldn't say that watercolours were my first love. It's just that I've done more of that over the last 20 months than anything else. All because I was helping a friend out with her watercolours back in January a year ago. So that is what, January? December, I think December 2012. Yeah, 2012. Then I, I did a video to send to her, but I didn't know how to do that. But my daughter said, I'll put it on YouTube, Dad. So she did, she did, showed me how to do it. And I thought, oh, this is all right. I'll have a go at this. I like it. So that's how it all started with the watercolours. So I stopped doing oils, which I had been doing for the previous 15 years. I used to do watercolours, using these, these brushes, the same paints, but I used to use them soft, straight out of the tube, back in the days of Ron Ranson. Uh, that's not quite good really, maybe let's just put in a bit of a... So I quite, I quite like that. I think the sky is nice. It, it, it's it's leave, leaving out paints grey. I, I put a big wodge of paints grey out there, but I didn't use it. Um, I just used the lemon yellow, the raw sienna, light red, ultramarine, a bit of burnt umber. Very, very simple. Now I've got to clean, clean the palette. Let's go into that. Well, let's bring you around a bit. Get nice and square on here. Okay, so let's uh... right, get that focused. Oh, so there's me, there's my beach, and then I put some bit of reflection in on that. Those little spits coming out here, um, and some some rocks just to add some detail. 
I quite like it. I like the light effect. That's worked out quite well. Um, yeah, and it doesn't look muddy. This might be a little bit muddy, but there's no grey in that whatsoever, other than the grey that I've mixed up with the ultramarine and light red. And you can see, if I was painting uh, 30 degrees, this would have granulated even more. It, the red separates from the blue and you get this lovely mottly effect, fine mottled. And it's a lovely, lovely effect. You, you got it there. You get it with ultramarine and burnt umber as well. And you get it with uh, with burnt sienna and, and black as well. Uh, Roland Hilda used to use that a lot. If you don't know who I'm talking about, have a look at Roland Hilda on, online. There's a lot of stuff on him. Specialised in painting uh, Kent scenes along the Thames, Medway, um, oast houses, which I love. But you have to be careful with your oast houses because people say, oh, you've pinched that from Roland Hill, or so what? He's long gone and so have a lot of the windmill, uh, the mills, or the oast houses. They're, they're now um, fine houses with, with huge lofts. Lovely. Anyway, enough for me. Thanks for watching. I'll just zoom you out again. Then you can have a little look at that. I'll go and upload it. Finish my cup of tea. Bye for now.